Oh, hey, y'all already here. How y'all been? I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm going to come down here and do a little more work today. going to stack these boards that I stained the other day and try to run some electrical, put up some boxes and stuff. A little dreary outside today, so can't do much out there. But it's all got to get done sometime or another. So y'all stay tuned. We'll see what we can get done. Boy, the framing of this thing went pretty fast, but man, it sure has slowed down. Get to the inside. The little nitpicking stuff outside. Seems like there's always something to do. I can't imagine what it's going to be like once I finally do get it sealed up. And start worrying about the little minor detail. <coughs> Excuse me. Looking up top here, when the rafters join the top plate, any of y'all that's building a cabin or cottage or whatever you want to call it, if y'all ain't doing it, check out a timber lock screws. They go right through the top plate, right into the rafter. You can get them six, eight inches long. Boy, you talking about some holding power. Now they got some holding power. Let's see if I can find one of you. That's a timber lock. Goes in through the top plate into the rafter and boys, you'll cinch her down tight too. You ain't gonna break it. There's several videos on it if you wanna check it out. Timber lock screws. I'm gonna get the rest of these boards stacked and get some of these braces down and I'll check back with y'all in just a little bit. Well, you gotta knock a few punch outs out. Punch a few knockouts out, whichever one, to mount this box. I'm gonna wire it just like a house. And that way, when I run my generator into it, Everything will work as it should. I'll bring the 
solar in on one side. Generator in on another. I guess it'd help if I got my pliers, would it? I'm going to put the main at the bottom. Yeah. See if I can rustle up a drill. That should be sufficient. Ain't nothing like something in a manufactured in a plant to show you how bad bogey studs and stuff are. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something funny right here. I don't know. I ain't got room for a three gang box. So I guess they'll all have to be stacked. I don't like that, but it is what it is. In there. Let's see if these bow. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's gonna work all right, I believe.
So what we'll do is we'll just stack them. Need to see how thick it tongue and groove is. What y'all think? Think we ought to stack them or move it switch over? I think. So to stack them or not to stack them? That's the question. Well, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do about that other deal. If I wanna stack them boxes or or what I want to do. I don't know. Just don't know. I want my windows all level across the top. So it all be the same. But you see how short my cripples are on top of my headers. Well, like over the sink. Sure is going to make it difficult to put a box up there for a light, ain't it? What I might do is just put me up wafer light right above the sink there and put it on a switch right there by the window. Maybe that'll work all right. Like I told y'all before, I ain't no carpenter. Don't think ahead too often, evidently. Evidently not. There'll be another wall right here coming this way that goes into the little closet pantry, I guess you'd call it. That's where I'm going to put my solar batteries at when I finally get all my solar stuff. Well, after thinking about it and looking at everything, I think I'm going to come back and clean up all this mess so I keep quit tripping over everything. And then that way I can see what I got, see what I need to do, and I'll get back with y'all. Appreciate it.